with getting another corgi puppy. All of a sudden, Alex sees lights behind him and we're like, oh no. Are you okay with your sister? Hey guys, it's about 11 o'clock on Thursday and it's storming really bad. And I'm in my pajamas. I should be going to sleep. It's like giving me sort of like flashbacks of Harvey. I'm trying not to be like anxious about it. You can hear it. I'm not gonna lie, it's crying a little bit just because I'm anxious. It's gonna be a long night. Okay, so the last that I talked to you guys, I was freaking out because it was storming. And we stayed up till probably like almost 2 a.m. I know John stayed up to probably much later, but I stayed up till like 2 a.m. watching the security cameras with John to like look at the ditches to see, because the ditch is the reason we flooded during Hurricane Harvey. It, overfl like, it overflowed, it went into the neighborhood. It was a really bad situation. The, it's called Turkey Creek, but the creek like is full at this moment. <laughs> it's the next day. So I had a surprise and I was gonna tell you guys a little bit differently, but then, you know, stuff happened with the weather. So the surprise that I had said that you guys had to wait for is I am getting another corgi puppy and Alex is here. <laughs> but I'm getting another corgi puppy. Um, it's gonna be a female, I already named her. Her name's gonna be Maple, but we are actually on the way right now to go pick her up. We were originally gonna go get her tomorrow, which is Saturday, but the weather was so bad that this morning they closed pretty much all the schools in Houston. Um, so our school is closed, but pretty much most of the morning it hasn't been raining, and so a lot of the water has receded. So it's like, clear enough where it feels safe to drive around and to go out. So I was watching the forecast and it was showing that Saturday was gonna be a lot of rain, which is when we were originally planning on going to go pick up the puppy. So we kinda just decided to drop what we were doing and just go run and go pick up the puppy now. Cause it's only like three and a half hours there and then three and a half hours back. Um, and now we're like an hour away. So I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Look at his hat. <laughs> I went this way and I was like, look at that. I had other things I was gonna say, but I already forgot. Whataburger! Take it off for Whataburger. Yeah, let's get off for Whataburger. Okay, you guys, I will update you guys later. Okay. So we're like 15 minutes away, and I'm really excited. Alex tells me to stop checking my phone because the more I check it, the longer it's gonna take to get there. It, this is pretty much what we've been staring at for three hours. Okay, story time. So we're driving and all of a sudden Alex sees lights behind him and we're like, oh no, like what happened? Is there a tail light out? Like, is something wrong? He told me, he's like, I wasn't speeding. So we pull over and Alex forgot because we don't travel very often that he's supposed to stay to the right lane and only stay in the left lane for passing. Even I forgot and I've been driving for a long time. And so she's like, hey, you know, she let us know why she pulled us over. And then she asked us where we were going. And I was like, we're gonna go get a puppy. And I'm like, he was so nice for offering to take me. And she asked what kind of puppy, is it a corgi? And then she told him, okay, I'm just gonna give you a warning. And she checked, you know, to make sure he had his license and his insurance and stuff and all was well. So she gave him a warning, but it's like, well, at least we have that story to remember for like, you know, when we tell the story about when we got Maple. So the next clip you see is probably gonna be us on our way back home with Maple. The next like 15, 10 minutes should go by quickly, right?
You are so stinking cute, aren't you? Okay, I didn't feel like doing my hair today because it's raining again. Today is the first full day that Maple is home. Okay, so for like a lot of the drive back, I ended up driving home, which was fine because Alex did like a lot of the driving in general. And I am not a big fan of driving long distances. So Alex, if you're watching this, thank you so much for real. Mochi is getting adjusted. <laughs> it's taking a little bit of time. So this is where he sits lately. He just sits here and kind of keeps an eye on her. I do let them interact, but I didn't want them to interact too much um, initially, just kind of like slowly introduce. She's really liking her kennel, which is good. This is kind of what I did with Mochi. I set up the kennel and I have it open always. I have the playpen and then I have the pee pads kind of far away so that way when she feels the need to go she can come over here. I change the pee pads out halfway through the day. What's nice is the fact that most of our house is tile now which means if she has an accident it's not the big of a deal it's really easy to clean. Um, but you know how I just recently cleaned my craft room? This is the craft room situation. You're cute too, okay? I just put her collar on her. <laughs> Are you not a fan of the collar? Mochi's annoyed by her. Well, I gave him his green beans right next to her because I want him to associate happy times when he's next to her. And then I gave her like a little piece, but she keeps like spitting it out and chewing on it and spitting it out. And he's over here like, I'll eat it. <laughs> hey you guys, I have no idea where I am in this vlog. Here's little maple. Look at her. There's Mochi. They're starting to be best friends. Though every now and then he gets so annoyed by her. She's so cute. In two days, she will be 10 weeks old. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah, you are. You're so cute. And there's Mochi. Oh, she's a good boy, Mochi. Mochi's like, I gotta go pee with she pees. She's doing a good job. So we haven't started potty training her yet. Uh-uh. No. No. So we haven't started potty training her yet. She's been doing pee pads. Mochi's been doing better about having a little sister. He's teaching her the rules. He only growls at her in a playful way or pushes her to teach her not to bite and not to jump. <laughs> because she'll jump up and nip his face. So he goes, he'll do that RRR thing and kind of push her over every time she jumps up and nips him. But it's totally normal. She's being sassy. It's totally normal for him to try and teach her manners. I only jump in if I think he's being too rough with her trying to teach her manners. Um, like if he full on sits on her, she's only like not even five pounds and he's 30 pounds. So I'll usually tell him to like calm down. Um, if he's playing too rough, I'll tell him to calm down. But for the most part, I let him teach her lessons. I let him growl or bark at her if she hurts him because she needs to learn that's not okay. Of course, she's nine weeks old, so she bites everything. She's curious about everything. She's super sweet and super cute. Her name is Maple. I'm pretty sure I told y'all already. 
but they are so cute together. Look, see, she's already trying to nip his tail. Are you okay with your sister? Yeah, will we take her back? But she really wants to play, and he does play with her. Like, he's he's playing with her right now. But he's also like, hey, don't jump on me. <laughs> Mochi, go bed! Go bed! Oh, she's a good boy, and she goes in there with him. Are you going in there with your brother? You guys are cute. And she has another bed over here. He likes to play with him and cuddle with him and he's being pretty good about not getting too mad at her. He's a good boy. You want a treat, Mochi? Okay, I'm gonna get you a treat. You want a treat? 